Struggling with your TV's picture coming through clear but without any sound? This frustrating issue stops you from enjoying your TV shows and movies. I'm going to guide you through simple steps to fix this problem and bring the sound back to your television. First, let's make sure your TV isn't on mute and the volume is turned up. Sometimes, it's the simple solutions that do the trick. Grab your TV remote, press the volume button, and watch for the volume indicator on your screen. If it's all the way down or on mute, adjust it and see if that brings back the sound. Next, if your TV volume is fine, it's time to check any other devices connected to your TV. This could be your set-top box, gaming console, or any external sound systems. Use their respective remotes or the physical buttons on the devices themselves to make sure none of them are muted or turned down too low. These devices often have separate volume controls that can override your TV's settings. After confirming the volume settings, another simple check is to switch between different input sources. If you're using multiple devices like a DVD player, a streaming box, or a game console, try switching from one input to another. This can help determine if the sound issue is isolated to one specific source, or if it's a general problem across all inputs. Now let's dive into the audio settings of your TV. Go to the main menu of your television, usually accessible via the Menu or Settings button on your remote. Look for Sound Settings or Audio Options. Once there, ensure that the sound output is set to your TV's internal speakers. If you have external speakers or a sound system connected, make sure they are selected as the audio output, if that's your preference. This setting adjustment can sometimes resolve any conflicts between your TV and connected audio systems. If you're still facing audio issues, it's important to check any Bluetooth and wireless connections. Sometimes, wireless speakers or headphones connected to your TV might be intercepting the sound. Go into your TV's Bluetooth settings, which can typically be found in the main menu under Sound or Connections, and disconnect any paired devices. This will help determine if these devices are taking over the audio output. Next, let's try power cycling your TV. A simple yet effective solution. Turn off your TV and unplug it from the power outlet. Wait for about 20 seconds before plugging it back in and turning it on. Alternatively, you can hold the power button on the TV for a few seconds. A reboot menu should appear, offering a quicker way to restart your TV without unplugging it. Both methods can help reset the TV's internal functions and potentially fix audio issues. Lastly, take a moment to check all the audio and video cables connected to your TV. Make sure each cable is securely plugged into the right port and isn't damaged. Look at HDMI cables, audio cables from external speakers, and any other connections your setup might have. Loose or faulty cables are often culprits of sound problems. If you find any worn out cables, replacing them might just do the trick. Checking for updates to your TV's software is a smart step. Navigate to the Settings menu, select System or About, and choose Check for Updates. If there's an update available, follow the instructions on your screen to install it. Updates can resolve a range of issues, including audio problems. If the sound issue persists, a factory reset might be necessary. Remember, this will erase all personalized settings and data so ensure you've saved important information elsewhere. To reset, go to Settings, then System or Reset Options, and choose Factory Reset. Follow the prompts to return your TV to its original factory settings. Should these steps not resolve the issue, it could indicate a hardware problem with the internal speakers. In this case, it's advisable to contact a professional technician who can evaluate and possibly repair or replace the damaged components. That's it for the video. I hope these steps helped you solve the issue with your TV's sound. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful tech tips. Also, if you have any questions or additional tips that worked for you, drop a comment below. 
I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.